Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to the Chromecast with Google TV so that you can play GeForce Now with a keyboard and mouse. This is a big request off of the channel from some of the earlier videos that I've put together, so I figured I would go ahead and show you how to do it. It's quick and it's easy. So for today's test, I'm going to be using the Logitech K600 keyboard mouse combo. It's the only Bluetooth mouse and keyboard I have in the house, so it'll have to do. It is a combination device, but it works the same way. We're going to go ahead and connect it up. Go over to your profile picture, select that and go to settings. And then of course, go to remotes and accessories, select pair remote and accessories, and then begin pairing your Bluetooth device with whichever um, with whatever Bluetooth product you happen to have. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and there is the device, the keyboard K600, and pair. All right, enter this code on your keyboard, 192539. And it is paired, easy peasy. So now I should be able to, there it is, the mouse is working just fine. And I should be able to use, say, the escape or the back button here. Yep, absolutely. So now I am completely in control of the Chromecast with Google TV with my mouse and keyboard. I'm not using the remote at all. I've got my uh, cursor keys on the keyboard that I'm using, and you can see it works great. But now, to prove that it works in GeForce Now, let's take a run at Cyberpunk 2077 using a mouse and keyboard. Now, I'm not going to be able to really play with this. This is a trackpad, you know, a mouse simulation, essentially. It's, it's a mouse, but it's a trackpad mouse. So it's, uh, it's not going to be really easy to play. But I will show you that um, it does work. I'm not going to actually get to play the game very well. And I am on, uh, on uh, Wi-Fi instead of uh, wire. I'm sorry. I'm on, yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet for this uh, demo. So please take that into consideration. So we now load Cyberpunk 2077 off of GeForce Now. All right. Once again, proving my mouse is still there and working. All right, I should be able to skip past this. Let's go, move along. Okay, press space to continue. I hit space on the keyboard. Space again. Use our mouse controls. Yep, worked just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And again, this is the Logitech K600 TV keyboard. I, I use it a lot for Android devices, for Shield TVs. I use it for almost Raspberry Pis. I use it for everything. It's a, it's a great keyboard. I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want one. Absolutely fantastic. It does native, it's got native Android keys. It does Bluetooth. It's got a PC dongle. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Perfect traveling keyboard too. Oh, sorry. Press B to continue. Space in this case. All right. So here we go. And as you can see, I am using, well, you can't really see. Sorry. Um, I am using the uh, WASD to move around and I will, oh, there we go. I'm using my mouse to, I'm not used to playing this with a mouse and keyboard. As you can see, I'm walking around and I'm using a mouse and keyboard. So the answer is, can you use GeForce Now on Chromecast with Google TV with a mouse and keyboard? You bet you can, and it's a lot easier than you might think. Just get a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and you are set. 
All right. So listen, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry, I hit the power button there. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, again, this is the Chromecast with Google TV using a Logitech K600 keyboard and mouse Bluetooth combo pack. You can use whatever Bluetooth devices you want to pair up. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video, share it with others, subscribe to this channel, and of course, hit that little bell so you get notifications of this and other great videos right from Monroe World. This is Shane R. Monroe, and as always, thank you so much for watching.